Hi everyone, my name is Ajit and I'm with the San Jose Public Library and welcome to video number 6 of our guitar tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be going over three different techniques on the guitar. The slides, the hammer-ons, and the pull-offs. So let's get into it. First technique right here is the slide. So what really is a slide? So slides are kind of a way to connect two or more notes quickly and smoothly in a fluid motion and all of that. So uh, slides can kind of, it's a smooth and easy way to change your positions on the fretboard everywhere and make it seem effortlessly and add some life to your notes. So I'll give an example right here. So here we have the A note on the fifth, uh, the fifth fret of the high E string and here we have the B note on the seventh fret. So I can just rigidly play them like but if I want to make it sound smooth and have a nice transition, I can use a slide. Instead of plucking them individually, I slide it like this. And it sounds a whole lot better, a whole lot smoother, and just more pleasurable to listen to. And yeah, so those are kind of like slides. And the good thing about them is you can kind of take them anywhere on the fretboard. The only thing you can is bring them from string to a different string. So. You can make them as small as you can or as big as you can. So I'll give you an example right here. So here's a small uh, slide from the third, the third fret of the third string to the fifth fret of the third string. It'll sound like this. But here's a bigger one from the third fret of the third string up to maybe the 10th. Or and some uh, another thing you can do is kind of connect slides together. So first you will maybe want to slide up like this and then right after that you want to slide up to maybe here. So like in one in one motion without plucking the string more than once. So and you can kind of take it anywhere you want. Do any of your own strings. So as you can see, it's different, and you can kind of move it anywhere. And you can do that the same for all the fret positions, all, all the frets on all strings, and yeah. So those are slides. Okay, now our second technique is the hammer-on. So what a hammer-on is, it's kind of like, you're pretty much just kind of hammering on a note. And with this, you don't have to pluck the string to make a sound, you can just hammer it on and you'll make the sound yourself. So what these do, it's, it basically makes it easier when you're playing really fast, so you don't have to like pluck everything, you can use hammer-ons like boop, 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 boop. You don't have to pluck every single note, and it just makes it way you know, easier and smoother. And yeah, so I'll show an example right here. So let's go back to the A and the B notes of the fifth and seventh strings on the high E string. Um, so here I want to play both of them, but I'm not going to be playing them together. I mean, I'm not going to be playing them individually like this, or using a slide like this. I'm going to be using a hammer on. So basically, I'm going to just hammer it on like right here. So it's gonna sound something like this. So as you can see, I'm not plucking it again, I'm just hammering it on like, and, and it makes it easier and faster. So once you start doing like really complicated fast stuff, instead of having to like pluck every single note like this, you can actually just hammer it on like that. So, and yeah, those are the cool things about hammer on because you can, it makes it easier, faster and smoother. Okay, and now on to our last technique, which is the pull-off. So what a pull-off is, you're kind of, it's kind of like the, a reverse hammer-on. Instead of uh, hammering it on, you're kind of pulling it off. So right here, I'll show you an example. So let's, again, we're going back to the A and B notes. And the pull-off is kind of like the same thing as a hammer-on. Not the same thing, like the same like uh, kind of uh, use of a hammer-on or a slide. It makes it smoother, faster, more effortless, and a better transition. So. Here's an example. So we're from the seventh fret right here and the fifth fret right here. This is this is what a pull off is gonna look like. So this is what um it's gonna be uh, looking like when I'm just playing them normally. Like, but here's a pull off. So as you can see, I'm not plucking it again. I'm pulling off. So as my finger's coming off, I'm not just taking it off. I'm like pulling down. So I kind of pluck the string with this finger right here. So I'm like. So it's like a reverse hammer-on, because a hammer-on would be like this, but a pull-off would be like that. So you're pulling off, you're plucking the string when you're coming off. And it makes everything easier and more smoother, like I said earlier. So when you're going really fast, and then you, you can't 
to like single-handedly pluck every note. You have to incorporate slides and hammer-ons and pull-offs and all of that. It just makes everything smoother and easier and just better overall. Let's get into some exercises that maybe could get, help you get better. So here's an exercise that I have that incorporates hammer-ons and pull-offs in the same exercise. So, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off with your pinky finger on the eighth fret of the high E string like this. And then you're gonna put your first finger on the fifth fret, so your position's gonna look like this. And the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna pull off from the eighth fret to the fifth fret, so it's gonna look like this. And right after you do that, you're gonna take your third finger and hammer it onto the seventh fret right here. So it's gonna be like. And then right after that, you're gonna take your pinky back and hammer it back onto the eighth fret, so. Like that. And then once you're in this position, you're gonna pull off from the eighth fret down to the seventh fret. So you're not gonna take your third finger off, you're just gonna pull off with your pinky, so. And then you're gonna pull off with your third finger from the seventh fret down to the fifth fret. And then you're gonna repeat, so it's gonna sound like this. And you can speed it up uh, so you can go faster, you can use a metronome on it, and it basically helps you train your hammer-ons and your pull-offs and all of that. So a little faster, it sounds something like. And doing this for a little bit every day will probably get you way better at pull-offs and hammer-ons and yeah. And same with this exercise up here that I showed you, you can kind of bring it down to maybe um, the third and the third to the Seven, uh, the third to the uh, sixth position, like. And you can bring it up or down and any of that. So those are just some exercises that could uh, potentially help you get better at hammer-ons, pull-offs, and yeah. And yeah, there we go. So that about wraps it up for today's video. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you didn't, maybe you might learn something from our future videos or our previous videos, so make sure to look out for that. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.